so welcome to my channel so this is the last lecture of chapter one real number so our topic is revisiting rational number and their decimal expansion okay so what we are going to study is first theorem okay so what the theorem is trying to say we'll understand one by one okay ek ek karke hum phir samajhenge ya theorem kya स्टेट कर रहे हैं ओके सो है गो सो थ्यूरम 1.5, लेट एक्स बी अ रेशनल नंबर ओके वी विल टेक सर्टेन नंबर ओके एक्स बी अ रेशनल नंबर हुस डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन टर्मिनेट्स ओके आई विल टेक वन रेशनल नंबर हुस डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन विल टर्मिनेट आई हैव ऑलरेडी सोन व्हाट टाइप ऑफ डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन or we called it as a terminating if we take an example of 25 if we divide it if we divide okay 25 by 2 is a rational number okay we will take this example if we divide by 2 then what will be the answer 2 into 1 2 5 will come out 2 into 2 4 1 point will be 10 okay here i have written decimal okay so when i write this decimal and i can put zero so two five ten and the remainder is zero this type of decimal expansion okay there is after point there is a number five and it terminates okay it the ending it ends okay this type of expansion is known as uh, decimal uh, terminating okay terminating decimal expansion okay here up to here it is clear nothing there so then x can be expressed in the form of p by q this means if x is a rational number okay whose decimal expansion terminates then x that number particular rational number can be written in the form of p open q okay, it in the, it is in the definition of rational number where p and q are co primes okay p and p is also a prime number q is also a prime number together forms a co prime number so and the prime factorization of q is in the form of 2 to the power n 5 to the power m okay means if it is a rational number it will be written in the form of p open q and if we look the pattern of the q okay only q not p q then their prime factorization if we factorize it then we will get like 2 to the power n 5 to the power m means the prime factorization will contain 2 and 5 only okay then this this x is a rational number whose decimal expansion will terminate okay will terminate this is the our main uh, theorem the what the theorem 1.5 is trying to say okay in the written in the form of 2 to the power n 5 to the power m where n m and n m are non-negative integer so okay it is it should be a positive integer so for example i'll take uh, here is an example from i have taken it from ncrt books okay so 3 by 8 it is a rational number we know okay this uh, let us say it is a x okay x means this rational number okay if it can be written in the form of p upon q okay it is written in the p upon q then their denominator okay this is the q q can be written in the form of what the question is saying 2 to the power n 5 to the power m let's see okay i can write 3 i don't need to factorize 3 i need only the denominator term okay 3 can be 8 can be written as c if i factorize then 2 into sorry 2 into 4 8 2 to 4 means 1 2 3 2 to the power 3 okay so in order to match with this i'll do some arrangement okay so i can write 2 to the power 2 to the power 3 into okay i'll here put 5 to the power okay for my understanding okay i'll i can write is like um, 5 to the power 3 5 to the power 3 okay so what happens 3 into five to the power 3 means 2 into okay 
okay i can write this as like this okay so it can be 3 by 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 0 i can write 5 to the power 0 because 5 to the power 0 equals to 1 i can manage this see the denominator can be written in the form of 2 to the power n 5 to the power m okay so if i divide what will be the answer okay i will divide 3 by 8 okay what will be the answer 3 uh, if i divide 8 by 8 then i'll put point so that i can get a 0 8 into 3 24 okay Th according to the theorem what the theorem is saying if i if the number can be written in the form of 2 to the power n 5 to the power n then their decimal expansion will terminate okay let's have a proof okay so the remainder will be 6 okay point 0 56 4 point 0 8 5 40 okay the remainder is 0 means 0 0.375 and their decimal expansion terminates this is the proof okay here we have proved okay we have proved the statement so in second okay i'll do this much only here this is a rational number okay it is in the form of p by q i'll take p by q and i'll factorize the q term okay when i factorize the q term what i will get is 125 i need to factorize okay uh, it is by 5 5 to 10 5 5 25 5 into 5 c 1 2 3 then i can write 5 to the power 3 so 5 to the power 3 or i can write i can manage 2 to the power 0 because 2 to the power 0 is 1 when i multiply anything by 1 there is no change okay so that i can write like this it is in the form of so i will check the decimal expansion okay when i divide 13 by <coughs> 125 what will be the answer okay so here is a one two three number okay so when i put point i'll get here zero so 125 1 125 i'll get here five here zero here zero means when i have already taken put a point so i'll i have a right to take zero okay so it is by zero it is a point so i can write 500 okay what will go two times i think three thin four five twenty zero two Yeah, four. I think four. Four five twenty two four two eight nine ten zero one four on four five means remainder will be four five twenty two four two eight nine ten zero one four on four five means remainder is now zero means the decimal expansion terminates zero point one zero four means if the denominator is the in the form of two to the power n into two to five to the power m then it is a rational number and the decimal will terminate here is the whole proof of this theorem okay so the theorem is proved okay so we will move in and come to theorem 1.6 so what the theorem 1.6 is saying so we'll quickly review let x equals to p by q okay the x is in the fraction okay p by q be a rational number we are assuming that p by q is a rational number so such that the prime factorization of q is in the form of 2 to the power n 5 to the power m okay the prime factorization of q is in the form of 2 to the power n 5 to the power m okay so where n and m are where m and n and m are non-negative integer okay it is for the condition only then x has a decimal expansion which terminates i have already shown this again the theorem is, is saying same okay the theorem is only different 1.6 and 1. that is 1.5 okay so i'll take a previous e example okay i'll take e here x means the rational number p open q it is in the form of p open q so the uh, the prime factorization of q is in the form of 2 to the power n 5 to the power m okay so here c denominator q 
the prime factorization I can write as 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 0 because 5 to the power 0 is 1 so I can write this okay so it is in the form here then when I divide 3 by 8 then the decimal expansion will terminate okay this it will have only this much only if I divide I have already done that and this is the only the theorem it is easy okay so no need to <coughs> mug up or you only need to work on the conceptual okay so next theorem theorem 1.7 so what the theorem is saying I'll quickly revise okay let x equals to p by q be a rational number so x is a rational number such that the prime factorization of q is not in the form okay the prime factorization or q the prime factorization of q is not in the form of 2 to the power n 5 to the power m where m and r negative non-negative integers it should be positive integer full stop the then x has a decimal expansion which is non-terminating repeating okay what the question is saying i'll quickly revise i'll take an example 20 by 3 okay here see the q has which do not have 2 to the power n and 5 to the power m okay the factorization prime factorization is not is in the form of this okay so what the question is saying if it is not in the form then their decimal expansion will not terminate but it will repeat it okay ye kya hoga yes ka decimal expansion terminate nahi hoga पर रिपीट होगा कैसे देखिए एग्जांपल देंगे और इसके बाद हम एक्सरसाइज पे जाएंगे 3 3 6 18 19 20 पॉइंट 0 3 6 18 19 20 0 3 6 18 ओके देयर टू सो व्हाट द व्हाट द डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन इज 6 6 6 6 डॉट 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 ओके दिस विल रिपीट एवरी विल रिपीट मींस आई कैन राइट as 6.6 .6 bar the 6 digit will repeat okay it will not terminate ye kabhi khatam nahi hoga par ye kya hoga repeat hoga if yadi agar iske denominator ka ye p hai ye kya hai q ye q ka prime factorization is aise form mein nahi hai to kya hoga ye decimal terminate nahi hoga aur ye kya hoga repeating zarur hoga okay so इस थ्योरम का आपको रटना नहीं है आपको यह क्या समझना है कि ये तीन थ्योरम से आपको ये पता लगा कि कोई भी p अपॉन q नाम फॉर्म में आप लिख सकते हैं तो आपको ये q का फैक्टराइजेशन q का फैक्टराइजेशन 2 टू द पावर n और 5 टू द पावर m फॉर्म में होना जरूरी है अगर नहीं होगा तो वो टर्मिनेट नहीं होगा रिपीट जरूर होगा जी हां ये दोनों बात आप ध्यान में रहिए और हम अब एक्सरसाइज पे चले जाएंगे 1.4 पर सो 1.4 सो व्हाट द क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग वन विदाउट एक्चुअली परफॉर्मिंग द लॉन्ग डिवीजन ओके विदाउट डिवाइडिंग विदाउट डिवाइडिंग स्टेट व्हेदर द फॉलोइंग रैशनल नंबर्स विल हैव टर्मिनेटिंग decimal expansion or non terminating repeating decimal expansion okay without doing division okay by the using that theorem we will do with the we'll do the exercise okay e x e r c i s e exercise 1.4 we will do okay so so number one question what the question is saying 13 by 3 1 2 5 okay by looking the denominator we will decide okay without doing actual division okay so okay we will solve okay directly we will solve number one so three one two five will factorize it okay quickly we will factorize by five five six thirty five to ten 5 5 25 5 1 5 5 2 10 5 5 25 5 2 10 5 5 25 5 5 okay now I have factorized the number so denominator can be written as 1 5 how many 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay so I can write 2 to the power 0 into 5 to the power 1 2 3 4 5 okay 5 so what we have found that since q 
क्यू इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टू टू दी पावर एन फाइव टू दी पावर एम सो देर फोर इट हैज टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन ओके इट विल हैव टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन नंबर वन विल हैव टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन व्हाट अबाउट टू ओके विल क्विकली नंबर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सेवेंटीन बाय एट ओके विल क्विकली रिवाइज टू फोर टू टू सो व्हाट द न्यूमरेटर कैन और क्यू कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड ओके इट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड ओके टू टू पावर थ्री इंटू फाइव टू दी पावर जीरो सो सिंस क्यू कैन बी क्यू कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड और वी कैन राइट एनीथिंग एक्सप्रेस्ड एस टू टू दावर थ्री सॉरी टू टू दावर एन फाइव टू दी पावर एम सो देर फोर it has terminating decimal expansion okay it, it is in the form so it will terminate okay so next question 64 by number 3 question okay number 3 question सिक्सटी फोर बाई फोर फाइव फाइव सिक्सटी सो व्हाट अबाउट दैट आई राइट क्विकली फाइव एट फोर्टी फाइव नाइन फोर्टी फाइव फाइव वन फाइव सेवेन वन सेवेन सो सिक्सटी फोर फाइव इंटू सेवेन इंटू थर्टीन देखिए इसका डिनोमिनेटर फाइव टू टू दावर एन फाइव टू दावर एम फॉर्म में नहीं लिख सकते कैन नॉट बी एक्सप्रेस ओके कैन नॉट बी एक्सप्रेस therefore it has it has non terminating repeating decimal expansion okay this is the answer what about number 3 number 4 okay what about number 4 15 by 1600 okay what will be the answer no i have to check the denominator 1600 by 28200242002002002500250 okay so 250 225 225 Five okay one two three four five six so two to the power six into five to the power two it can be expressed okay so since Q can be expressed in the form so it has terminating decimal expansion okay this is the short answer so we'll move another in another question number five. it is very lengthy it is very easy but very lengthy 29 343 so th since q has cannot be dekhi idhar kya hai 3 hai ye kuch bhi halat mein hum nahi likh sakte us form mein cannot be expressed so it has non terminating repeating आप देख देख के भी बता सकते हो 
सो नंबर सिक्स पे क्या है नंबर सिक्स पे ये हुआ इसका आंसर नंबर सिक्स पे क्या है नंबर सिक्स पे टू टू पावर थ्री टू टू पावर थ्री फाइव टू पावर टू सो देखिए इधर क्या है टू टू पावर एन टू टू फाइव टू पावर एम सो क्यू कैन बी कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज इन द फॉर्म एथी सो इट हैज टर्मिनेटिंग एन डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन ओके दिस इज एंसर नंबर सेवेन विल क्विकली मूव फाइव सिक्स सेवेन सो वाट इज द क्वेश्चन वन ट्वेंटी नाइन डिवाइडेड बाई टू 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 पावर टू फाइव टू टू पावर सेवेन सेवेन टू टू पावर फाइव देखिए इधर तो है टू टू पावर एन फाइव टू टू पावर एम फॉर्म में तो है पर यहाँ क्या क्या है इधर क्या है सेवन है इसलिए ये इस कैन नॉट बी ओके कैन नॉट बी एक्सप्रेस इन द एक्सप्रेस एस दिस एन इट एस नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग रिपीटिंग रिपीटिंग ये रिपीट करेगा रिपीटिंग डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन ओके दिस इज द एंसर सो फाइव सिक्स सेवन ओके सेवन एट का एंसर क्या है सिक्स बाई फिफ्टीन देखिए फिफ्टीन का हम करेंगे फाइव इंटू थ्री इसका फैक्टोराइज करेंगे फाइव इंटू थ्री ये क्या है इट कैन नॉट बी द एंसर विल बी द सेम ओके सो वॉट अबाउट नाइन ओके विल क्विकली मूव वन टू नाइन नाइन पे क्या है थर्टी फाइव बाई फिफ्टी है देखिए फिफ्टी का फैक्टोराइज करेंगे फिफ्टी का फैक्टोराइज करने से क्या होगा टू ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव इंटू फाइव इसे कैसे लिख सकते हैं थर्टी फाइव बाई फाइव टू द पावर टू 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 द पावर वन इंटू फाइव टू द पावर टू सो इट कैन बी और ये क्या है टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन है और लास्ट टेन नंबर पे क्या है दस नंबर पे देखते हैं अब टेन नंबर पे सेवेंटी सेवन बाई टू टेन अब टू टेन को हम कैसे लिख सकते हैं हम फाइव से करेंगे फाइव फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव टू टेन टू टू फोर टू वन टू थ्री सेवन इसे तो नहीं लिख सकते हम फाइव इंटू टू इंटू थ्री इंटू टू सो इट कैन नॉट बी ओके कैन नॉट बी एक्सप्रेस ओके इस ऐसे फॉर्म में एक्सप्रेस नहीं कर सकते टू टू द पावर एन फाइव टू टू पावर एम में हम एक्सप्रेस नहीं कर सके इसलिए इस इट हैज नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग रिपीटिंग डेसिमल एक्सपेंसिज ओके दिस इज द 